Hey, what's up? I'm here, the Traveling Tarot. Hello there, Taurus. I'm here, the Traveling Tarot, with your messages from Spirit in regards to whatever's on your mind. These messages can resonate for uh, anyone with Taurus placements or really anybody guided to see this video. That is how Spirit operates. And um, if you were inspired to click on the video, then there is a message in it for you, so stick around till the end. Um, my readings are timeless, so anytime you were guided to click on this video, start looking for evidence because as soon as you find that something does resonate with you, that is when you begin to attract it. So. Um, you will begin to see signs and synchronicities and things like that. So I'm going to start by cleansing the space and then we'll jump right into the read, okay? start the read by pulling one of these animal oracle, animal spirit oracle cards. Um, I just love to see what animal spirit we need to embody over the next few weeks as we navigate this new energy there, my beautiful um, Taurus. <laughs> what energy does the beautiful viewer or Taurus watching this video need to embody over the next couple of weeks ooh, to um, navigate this new energy that we're living, okay? So, we have partnership showing up, okay, with the puffin. So, accept yourself and your colorful personality. So, acceptance is definitely going to be the theme. Feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help, okay? Teamwork will give you the best results. Okay, so it looks like you're going to be in some type of teamwork energy over the next few weeks there, my beautiful Taurus. Embrace that energy. Ask for the help that you need, okay? This could be for your business. This could be for your finances. Whatever help you need is out there for you, okay? And then the next one that jumped out with it is action action okay it's gonna be time to take action okay now is the time to act opportunities are here move forward with confidence your talents will always help you land on the pinnacle your quick wit and keen senses will lead you to success don't be afraid to take action my beautiful Taurus okay some type of partnership is gonna be coming in there's gonna be some type of help showing up for you for whatever it is that you're seeking that you need help in, okay? And then we absolutely, which is my favorite card, freedom. It's going to bring in some type of freedom, okay? It says your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose calls you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You follow the winds of change and you accomplish your dreams, my beautiful Taurus. So live in this spirit of expectancy, okay? Live in the spirit of expectancy. Expect the help. Okay, not just from people, although spirit works through people. So ask for help. Ask for partnerships. Find, find collaborations, especially in business. If you're trying to create, find people who have strengths where your weaknesses are and that need your strengths, okay? Because that's a beautiful way to make sure that you're moving together as a strong unit, okay? And most importantly, after you find that, take action. Take action on your dreams. Don't be afraid to, to put that inspiration into action, okay? So you're going to want to embody both of these, the, these be action-oriented and also ask for and accept help, okay? Be open to the help that's around you. And what Spirit is inspiring me to let you know is, is it's not just the people. Ask for help from your angels, okay? You have free will, so Spirit is not going to force anything on you. It will inspire you to things, but it's up to you to act and to ask for the things that you think you want or need. 
okay? What other information do you want to give Taurus watching this video or the person guided to this video in regards to the energy they can expect over the next few weeks? How to navigate this energy? Looks like you can expect some type of partnership coming in or some type of help. Oh, surrender. Surrender is my favorite because that is how you're going to see the quickest results and you're going to receive the fastest relief is by just surrendering to the situation. And you know what situation it is. Your intuition just told you whatever it is. So if you have been feeling in, in this struggle, push, pull, stagnant information, surrender. Surrender to it. Give in to this energy. Because once you give in to the struggle, it flows. It's been flowing. You are now a part of the flow. You are, you are now a cooperative component in this, okay? Surrendering is going to be pivotal in navigating this new energy, okay? Let people be who they are. Let them do what they do, and you do what you do, and you don't worry about any other thing outside of that unless they are trying to stop you from doing you, in which case, handle that, <laughs> you know? What other information can I give Taurus? Geez, they want to all pop out, but I'm only looking for one or two more cards from this numerology deck. What information can I give Taurus in regards to environment, okay? And it's the 44 card. This is the I am angel number, okay? And that breaks down to eight, which shows me that it's going to be about mastering your environment, okay? Eights are typically about mastery, so you know how you master your environment? By surrendering to it, and of course love showing up at the, bo at, at the bottom of this one, which I think is absolutely perfect. Um, yeah, you master your environment by surrendering to it. And that doesn't mean allowing anything to happen, but it means caring about how you feel more than what seems to be going on, because think about it. What you're currently living is past energy that's already been flowed. So if you find a way... Hi, Leslie, Mama. <laughs> this is Leslie, everybody. <laughs> she's always going to find it. She's like her mama. She's always going to find the camera. Hold on, Mama. Okay, I'm almost done. All right, so you're going to surrender to this energy. You're, you're going to worry. You're going to care more about how you feel than what's going on and what, what the appearances are. Because as I was saying... What you're currently living is past energy that you have flowed already, okay? So if you can focus on what you're going to flow now, then you're going to experience it, especially a, it, not especially, it takes a sustained focus. You can feel fine one day, and yes, you are attracting it, but to truly experience it, you've got to find a way to sustain that focus, and you do that by surrendering. Surrendering to your environment or whatever you feel you're going your, your, whatever you feel you're going through. And then using moderation. Using moderation, okay? So, breaks down to five, so it feels like there's some type of conflict or challenge you might be facing. Just use moderation, use your discernment, and surrender to the situation, okay? And offer yourself as much self-love as possible because, honestly, that's one of the fastest ways to get back into um, alignment with your spirit is by just loving yourself. What would you do? What, what would you give? What advice would you give somebody in your situation from a loving standpoint? Think about that and then direct that to you. And then you're going to be able to see the movement and it's going to be palpable. Okay? What other information does Taurus need in regards to this partnership or being able to surrender or, you know, what is this moderation about? What other information is going to help Taurus or the viewer along their path in terms of, whoa. Okay. Do you want me to take all of these? No, that's way too many cards. Uh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> 
No, that's too many cards. Okay, Spirit, I'd like one or two cards just to clarify either the moderation or the environment or just how Taurus can be more of a cooperative component in what they're creating. And, I, and surrender is definitely the best way I know. Nothing wants to jump out, huh? Okay. What information can I... Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and this one, too. Okay. So, worthiness. Okay. Worthiness and it jumped out with shame. So, Taurus, you guys, may, some of you guys may have been questioning your worthiness. Some of you guys have been maybe feeling shameful about a choice that you made or an outcome. Or maybe you, you know, because I remember you guys had some dynamic reads and maybe you guys have fallen back into that old way of thinking and it's making you feel a little bit of shame. But Spirit is saying that shame energy is going to keep you feeling shameful and give you more things to feel shameful about. And it's going to make you question your worthiness, which I think is what's happening here as we see it fall out on the surrender card. Okay? This is why Spirit is saying just surrender to your environment right now. Surrender to your environment. Use moderation. And also moderate your thoughts. <laughs> Make sure you're using that moderation to moderate your thoughts, okay? Because the shame is making you question your worthiness, okay? But at the bottom of the deck, we have radical rebirth showing up, okay? So as you surrender, there's going to be some type of radical rebirth. Ask for the help that you need, most importantly, though, okay? Ask your spirits for help. Ask your guides for help. Okay, ask them what you need, and I do this every morning. In fact, this has been when I do my um, my morning kind of reflection reads for myself. My main question has become, what can I do to be a cooperative component in my creation today? You know, what can I do? And I get the answer. Mostly, it's belief. Believe it into being. Okay. Yeah, so we have harvest and resistance, okay, showing up. And those wanted to jump out together because whatever your harvest wants to come in so, so bad there, Taurus. Your harvest wants to come in, but this shame energy is causing resistance. And in fact, that probably goes right here. And it's causing you to question your worthiness. Yeah, this shame energy is keeping your harvest from coming in, okay? It's causing that resistance. Surrender. <laughs> surrender to your environment. Just surrender to it because you know what? Staying in this resistant energy is going to make you feel stagnant. It's going to make you feel incapable. It's going to make you doubt your worthiness. And it's going to keep you in a holding pattern of not being able to go in the direction that you're asking to go, okay? And then this one says intuition. So use your intuition. Let your intuition guide you. And the easiest, fastest, quickest way to do that is by surrendering. It really is the only work right now. Okay, Taurus, whatever came through that has you feeling shameful and resistant is keeping your harvest at bay because you're questioning your worthiness in regards to this situation. It wants to come in, but you're questioning it. So surrender to your environment, which I don't know if you can see, but surrender to your environment and moderate your thoughts. Use moderation, but make sure you're being the moderator of your thoughts, okay? Release this resistance and shame and let your harvest come in the way that it's trying to come in. We're going to jump right into the tarot, and I love this because as soon as I pick up the deck, we have the Eight of Wands showing up. So there is, as you surrender, the obstacles will be clear, okay? And you will start to see movement again in the direction that you want it to go in, my beautiful Taurus. But really, it seems like whatever's got you stuck in this resistant um, situation is making, you know, it's causing you some type of shame. And again, I'm feeling like it's just because you feel bad that you're back in this thought process again. Um, so it's causing you to doubt your worthiness and it's keeping your harvest at bay. But with that eight of wands showing up, 
is that as you surrender, it'll move again. Okay, the obstacles will start to clear, which is mostly, you know, the only obstacles really is your thoughts. Your feelings that, that there's something to be ashamed of, or your resistance, or, um, you gotta go get that card, your resistance, um, that's making you question your worthiness, is doing it. Um, but we have the Empress showing up. This is the fastest way back by appreciation, beauty, love, tapping into that potential, creativity. Threes represent creativity and creation. Find a way to appreciate and feel abundant again. And you do that by tapping into the, to the beauty of life, into the beauty of friendship, into the, just the beautiful things of connecting with others, the beautiful things people might be living. Okay, and as I straighten up this, this spread here, I'm seeing that the shame and the resistance is falling on your environment. Okay, so maybe you're living in a situation that's causing you to, to that's causing this resistance to come up. Um, and it could just very well be that maybe you've been waiting for a long time, or again, someone is making you feel shameful uh, and causing some type of resistance because. The, of the way that they're talking to you, we have the hanged man showing up, which is a hundred percent about surrendering to shift your perspective. Okay, you receive the enlightenment when you when you surrender. Okay, you release resistance and you release any type of shame, and you're now letting your harvest in when you surrender. It's the work sometimes because I know even as me, I had to put a reminder on my refrigerator. <laughs> To surrender because it's like sometimes you just feel like I want to just jump in and take some type of action because inaction oh yeah that makes sense because inaction um, can sometimes be discouraging so you're just like if I take some action at least I'm doing something towards the goal but spirit is saying it's time to not just do anything it's about to be it's time to be conserve uh, conservative of your energy by by waiting and watching and allowing the breakthroughs and the revelations that are on their way. And look, don't ever be afraid of the Tower card. In fact, I love the Tower card because yes, it means upheaval. But this is a necessary upheaval. It's gonna, but it also means breakthrough. It could come in the form of a, of an up, of a physical upheaval, but it also means breakthroughs. It breaks through. It's in, it's enlightenment. It's bringing you some type of revelation that is going to help you get out of this shameful, resistant energy um, that is falling in the current your current position. Okay, so some of you guys might really be stuck in this shameful, resistant energy, and I'm really getting a strong feeling is that you're more kicking yourself in the ass for being here again. Okay. We have the Knight of Cups showing up, okay? Follow your heart. Open your heart. Okay, that's what's coming in right now. Because you're going to receive this type of revelation or breakthrough or upheaval that is going to force you to follow your heart in a way that you're going to know that this is going to be the only way that's going to bring you to the harvest. Okay? I get another card for Taurus watching this video or anybody guided that may need to know how to navigate this energy when this tower moment shows up or this revelation, how to truly get to their harvest, how to ask for help, who to go to, what is the, what, what is the most valuable information I can provide? Ah, Taurus. <laughs> Taurus. showing up okay the world is about completion but it's about reflection it's about releasing it's about coming to the end of this journey of shame and resistance and stepping into the fullness of your harvest but as you do that you go into the harvest with a clear mind because you've released you've reflected and released the things that are not serving you Okay, you're going into this new fool's journey, so you're gonna you're going to accomplish this thing. This breakthrough is gonna come in and make you get to the to and help you get to the harvest. 
okay, because this all fell out on the outcome. So this breakthrough is coming in with the tower right here. It's either going to be a revelation, upheaval, breakthrough, something that's going to bring you some type of enlightenment, okay, that's going to give you that sense of accomplishment so that you can bring in your harvest the way that it wants to come in. Moderate your thoughts. Plus, we have the Ace of Pentacles showing up, so this is bringing in new abundance, new opportunities, new love, just the brand new, my beautiful Taurus. It's time to release this shameful, resistant energy. And if you don't, bless everybody's heart, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen anyway because it's going to come in the form of a tower moment. And that's okay because sometimes we don't want to let go. So spirit has to come in with something to turn up the heat until we realize what we need to do. Okay? We have the Ace of Cups showing up as soon as I pick up this deck. So we got the Ace of Pentacles showing up here, the bottom of this deck, with new opportunities. And we have the Ace of Cups showing up with new love, new creative projects, new, new emotional fulfillment. Okay? And that, that Ace of Pentacles is going to bring in that new emotional fulfillment. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands showing up. Oh, oh, Spirit wanted that Ace of Cups in the reed. Spirit said, no, 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 not good enough. We need it in the reed. Told you. This is coming in. This tower moment is going to bring in brand new emotional fulfillment. So get ready for it. And you're going to need to broaden your horizons here and start making practical plans on how to achieve what it is you'd like to achieve. Okay? And you know, <coughs> you don't need to, <coughs> excuse me, you'll receive it. You'll absolutely receive it, okay? And we have the world showing up here at the bottom of the deck here. <laughs> we have the world showing up, just so you guys know, that you guys are going to achieve this, okay? You guys are going to accomplish this um, new beginning, and you're going to accomplish this releasing this resistance so that you receive your harvest. But it's time to... Make a practical plan. Rediscover different aspects of yourself and make a plan as to how you'd like to how you'd like it to look, okay? You don't need to say, How am I gonna make this happen, okay? That is not what you're planning. You're planning how you'd like it to look, how you'd like it to feel, who's gonna be there, how's it gonna smell, how's it gonna feel when you're there. The more you can put yourself in your plan physically, the more you're going to accomplish it with the world showing up twice in the reading, okay? And that Ace of Cups jumping out where Spirit said, no, that's got to be in the read. That's that's the exclamation point. Can I get one more card for Taurus? And um, I want to let you guys know that I did just launch my podcast, The Divine Shuffle. You can check it out on uh, Spotify, Amazon Music, and iHeartRadio, <laughs> as well as check it out here on YouTube. So... Show me some love, leave some comments. I want to really start a discussion so that we can start changing some lives here and uh, showing people uh, their true power. Okay, we have the sun and the four of wands showing up. Now that is how you end a read. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are headed towards accomplishing absolute happiness, positivity, uh, vitality, uh, energy, energy. And you're building, st you're building on a more solid foundation. It's also about partnerships, friendships. It's all, it's also about abundance and joy, partying really. So get out there and find some ways to have more fun. Find some ways to bring the sun into your life, there, my beautiful Taurus. You guys have had some pretty dynamic reads, so I can understand why, why, why whatever shameful, resistant energy you've been living recently doesn't feel that good but it's time to bring that sun back into your life because spirit is going to come through if, if it hasn't already happened or if you haven't already made the decision um, some type of tower moment is going to come through and give you the enlightenment that you need that's going to put you powerfully on your path it's going to bring the sun back into your sky we saw the four of wands there and it's going to bring you this new emotional fulfillment Okay, so I'm going to send you guys off with a self-care card. I'm going to give you guys the biggest love and hugs that I can muster through this video. I'm going to encourage you to please check out the Divine Shuffle podcast 
as well as like, share, and subscribe. Feel free to leave any comments. I really want to start a discussion. And let's get together and feel all right. Okay? What's the best way for Taurus to show themselves that self-love that showed up here? Um, as they navigate this new energy and as they release this resistance and as they work to bring the sun back into their into their sky and allow their harvest in. Let me get one more. Oh, <laughs> that's wonderful. Okay, so we have make a meal. Cooking and eating healthy is a wonderful way to ensure uh, is a wonderful way to reconnect and just knowing that you're taking care of your body. And then, of course, we have pleasure, which this showed up in the Sagittarius read. Look up sexual magic, okay? It really is a real thing, and it does make sense because of the energy that is involved in both, okay? I am M, the Travel and Tarot. I'm truly thankful that I get to do this for you. Check out the Divine Shuffle podcast. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Peace.